Good morning, friends. Happy Monday. Welcome back to another Large Family Meals of the Week. And we are starting today's week off with a box of bananas. That, because I've been in and out of the hospital with a family member over the last two weeks, these just got kind of left and forgotten about. I mean, we certainly ate several bunches, but there's probably... Mm, let's see, two, four, six, there's about six and a half bunches left, and I'll say we've probably eaten at least six and a half already, because it was a big full box. But anyway, I'm gonna be pushing these bananas today, maybe even into tomorrow, because on the inside, they're just fine. We peeled these a little bit ago. Um, and so, for breakfast today, we're gonna do pretty much peanut butter toast with banana slices on it. I have uh, about half a loaf of this Texas toast left from where we did French toast sticks for the freezer. Naomi made a bunch of waffles yesterday morning. I forgot these were in here. So I got the kids all jazzed up about peanut butter and banana toast. So these will go ahead and just bag and those will be in the freezer for other quick mornings when mama's really not thinking. And then I also have, uh, I had a five pound box of table grapes left from Costco. Again, these were an oopsie. They taste so good, but they have seeds inside. I forgot that or I would not have bought them, but the kids went through the last five pounds. They figured it out and I wasn't even here. Okay, here's Miss Amelia's. Here's Mr. Daniel's order. This is Gabriel's plate. Now you may not be able to tell, but in the special order, this slice of toast is toasted with peanut butter bananas and this slice of toast is not toasted. And then of course, big old pile falling off the plate of grapes. Here is Liam's Monday morning breakfast breakfast per his order. So I've had some big cans of pork and beans in my pantry for a bit and I have half of this pack of the Nathan's Famous 100% Beef Hot Dogs in the refrigerator that I've needed to use up too. So we're going to do beans and franks or beanie weenies or whatever you want to call them for maybe lunch but definitely for dinner tonight. I'm going to get these in the slow cooker now to get them cooking and once we're back in from our nature hike then I'll add the beans in with it. We are having a beautiful sunshine day and kids are getting outside now and doing the trampoline. Woo! There's Benjamin. Hold on, let me show you. Let me show you. Hey, let me let me see the let's show you for the people. Are you gonna go? Are you gonna Oh! What are you doing? He thinks I'm taking him. Are you going outside to play? You going outside to play? Whoop whoop! Gonna go play, ready, set, go. So Naomi's gonna walk him for about 15 minutes or so for me while I whip up making a bunch of Tim Healthy Mama French toast. And so that was just a cup of egg whites. And then I'm going to use, of course I make everything in a big batch, right? I'm making this for Travis and I for breakfast. What I was saying was kids are going outside. We're supposed to have about five inches of snow day after tomorrow, but today and tomorrow are sunshine days in the mid 40s. So we are gonna have a big hiking time here real soon, but I'm gonna steal a little bit of time. I wanted to get some Trim Healthy Mama things done. My last freezer cooking day, it just didn't happen. So I'm just gonna be doing some big batch cooking in the meantime to, to tide myself over. Okay, so the verdict is I have about 10 pieces of Ezekiel bread French toast here. And then I had three pieces and Travis had three pieces. So how I just mixed it up made 16 slices total. I'm gonna put these in a bag and I will work these in and eat them over the next few days. It tastes really good with plain Greek yogurt on them and I'm out, so that's another thing. I'm gonna do my little fill-in haul tonight. We got talking hand here. Fill-in haul tonight um, after Taekwondo and I'll get some Greek yogurt then. You working on your sticker books, Danielle? Mm -hmm. Nice. Looking for where the puppy goes? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Amelia, you been working on your Picking up my cards. And picking up your flashcards. We've got little Benny over there. He's all knocked out. He had a long morning playtime. He says good night. So now that we are all inside and settled into our school time, I have my beanie weenies <laughs> going in the slow cooker here. I have about half of one of these big cans left, but I know this is gonna be really popular. I have not made this in years. Some of the kids were like, what? What? What is this meal you talk about? So uh, it'll, be, it'll be a fun treat. So you see I've already filled the eight quart slow cooker to the top, but I have, I did a full can of this and then I had two small cans and I have half a can left. So 
as this dwindles down during lunchtime, I will refill it. But yeah, the kids are super excited about this for lunch. And then also classic mom thing, I was like, man, I'm really hungry. Why am I so hungry? I had put my French toast that I stood and batch cooked in the microwave and I forgot about it for quite a bit. So there you go. I'm gonna finish my breakfast now. So last evening, we all went out to Taekwondo. What happened? Those beanie weenies, they did not last till dinner. And we had a pretty late lunch. We were still pretty full. So what I ended up doing is after Taekwondo, I went into Walmart. I have to catch up on food stuff. I went into Walmart to do my once a month large family little fill-in haul where I fill in on bread and milk, some extra fruits and veggies. I only spent a little over $100 on that. Anywho, all that to say, that's where that special treat yogurt came from that the kids are getting ready to have today. We're getting ready to get our schoolwork running for today. Kids just came back inside. I'm gonna give them each one of these, like the Oreo and the M&M. Again, special treat. For dinner last night, I picked up out of the grocery budget, <laughs> fried chicken at Walmart. And that is what we had. We did the beanie weenies in like little white side item bowls and everyone had a piece of chicken and it was like 8.30 at night and we were eating. Then we did our jobs and went to bed. So today's a brand new day, but I wanted to tell you, there's an unfilmed fill-in grocery haul and there was some unfilmed dinner there was unfilmed breakfast today, but you know I catch it as I can. So here's the kind of lunch-ish snack. Kids have dance today, and so I will be feeding them but either before or after dance. We, we will see how this, how this goes. What happened Monday night? So at Taekwondo, Naomi slammed down really hard. She was doing a kick, and her feet got tangled. Something happened. She slammed down on her right elbow very hard. Like the whole class stopped and I just thought, oh my goodness, she has shattered her elbow. She didn't. Her elbow is fine. It's gonna, it's bruised. But anyway, <laughs> we were doing lots of ice and ibuprofen. That is why I was like, why didn't I film that grocery haul? What was going on? I had busy mom life going on. So I am doing um, a low carb wrap for myself and then I have a couple different little sandwich orders. We just got some turkey this spicy cheese, some Swiss cheese. Of course, we got our regular <laughs> tomatoes and blueberries. Gonna get through these. So the young kids have been out at dance and they're actually gonna be home pretty soon. Zion and I are gonna play some skip bow. And of course, I'm always doing little food things and I've been thinking about these waffles <laughs> that uh, Naomi batch cooked these on Sunday. And I thought, you know what? It's Tuesday, I need to get the rest of these in the freezer because yesterday morning I forgot, even though we made so many on Sunday, I forgot that we had waffles sitting here looking at us. And then today the kids did cereal. Before I could get up this morning and uh, do something different for breakfast, that's fine, that's what I bought it for. So the waffles are gonna go in the freezer and then whenever we need them in coming weeks or coming months, we'll have waffles ready to go. So here you go, I'm gonna take these to the outside freezer and then these I'm just gonna keep in the house refrigerator and I'll try to pawn these off here to maybe Daniel and Benjamin the next morning. So it is Wednesday and I have had a work day today and a big part of that is I did a big sponsored video for HelloFresh and then I wasn't able to finish my dinner because I had a phone call. This video is not sponsored by HelloFresh, but I am eating their food again. So it's this Korean beef and it has zucchini, mushrooms, and carrots. That's my version of it. I'm going to put some sriracha and green onions on it too. But it was so good earlier, I had it for lunch. I'm having it for my late night dinner and uh, I'm almost done working for today. Okay, I'm showing you the same plate of food, but it is now Thursday, and I am having a double work day. That's right, two work days in a row, because as you'll see, we have a very fun, exciting, surprise trip coming up next week. You look, look, talking hand is shaking, it's so exciting. And so for lunch today, I'm having that same Korean beef bowl. And you know, I was already thinking, man, we could do these, but I could do them when I'm, you know, totally on my THM. Obviously not 100% THM. We'll just, we'll call this a crossover meal for my Trim Healthy Mama followers out there because there's jasmine rice in here. But if I made this with collie rice, it'd be fantastic. And look, it's got sriracha and I am all about spicy food. <laughs> so good morning. It is Friday now. I just got in two back-to-back -back work days, as you saw, because I just kept eating that HelloFresh stuff that I cooked up. So back to 
being full on mama today. We have a bunch of errands we need to run. We're probably gonna pick lunch out today. We are getting ready to go on a big family winter themed trip next week. So that's why I'm getting in some extra work time, doing extra errands, extra running around. Haven't had a ton of time this morning. So these are like little mozzarella snacking cheese packs. I get a bag of this at Costco and it's just a great like low carb, shove some cheese in my mouth. Good for me, good protein to keep my energy up before I can sit down and have a meal. I don't do that every day, but some mornings it just happens. Okay, so out running errands, I wanted a Wendy's taco salad, and that is what I'm having. So, dinner tonight, Travis has Naomi and Gabriel at basketball practice. So the rest of the kids are home with me, and I think I'm gonna do a bunch of salsa chicken in the Instant Pot for dinner tonight. I'm also filming like a weekend in the life video, so you're gonna see me in this sweater and hat of, over the next few days. Anyway, I'll show you what I'm making for dinner. Still, that Hello Fresh and that Korean beef, I tell ya, it was a winner and it made me totally fall in love with sriracha sauce. I'd had it before, but not quite as much as I've had it over these last few days eating up that Korean beef and I just love it. So, Daniel requested applesauce with dinner, so I got that out. I'm get bringing in two bags of these, uh, as a viewer calls them, the, the Mick Stewart's, <laughs> the sausage and English muffin freezer meal sandwiches I did on my last freezer cooking day. Several of you have asked me exactly how to reheat these. So I will show you that in this video and I will link the recipe in the description below. But all I'm doing, so I need these in the morning for a large family breakfast before we go out for basket, like six or eight hours of basketball games. So I'm gonna put them in my refrigerator tonight and then tomorrow morning you'll see we're gonna unwrap them we're gonna put them in the oven and yeah we're gonna eat them and so a couple of you have asked if I toast the bread before I put them in the freezer and I don't I just took them from the bread package put the pre-cooked sausage on there wrapped them and you know at like a gas station or McDonald's or anywhere these would be a couple dollars a piece so anyway it'll, it'll be a good quick breakfast and then here's my salsa chicken we're gonna do this as like a keto or low carb instant pot freezer meal right now I'm gonna run some cold water water over that and get that just loose enough to where I can get it in the instant pot and get that going. Happy Saturday morning. I just went out to the garage to get some more things in for the day. So I needed some eggs in the refrigerator. This is like a little garage grocery haul. Uh, we did salsa chicken last night in the instant pot. I don't think I showed that to you when we ate it, but it was so good. I'm gonna, sometimes it's like, hey, let's do that again. So I'm gonna do this chicken, I'm actually going to dinner with a good friend of mine, like a, a mom date <laughs> later tonight. But I'm gonna get this in the slow cooker. I'm gonna defrost it first, get it in the slow cooker so uh, the family has a quick dinner when we get home. Obviously, 10 people will need to add some side items with that, but it's really good with some sour cream and shredded cheese. We had one pack of strawberries left, and I wanted to get these in the house refrigerator so we use those up. And then these are the breakfast sandwiches I showed you that I put in the refrigerator last night. They're totally defrosted. So next up, we're gonna get these in the oven. So here are 16 of these uh, Mick Stewart muffins, haha. -ha. Whenever I put them in, I put them in at 400 for 10 minutes and I just gently set the tops off. And then when I check them in 10 minutes, I'll decide then if they need a few more minutes or if I'm ready to put the tops back on and then continue to do it a few more minutes. It, it'll, it'll make sense here in a minute, but this is how my, uh, this is my convoluted way of heating up these muffins. So I just pulled these out. They were like this, sitting a little crooked there. Put the lids on, as I call them, and they don't need any other time. 10 minutes at 400 was perfect. My second batch I put up on, well here, I'll show you. Excuse me, honey. I put up on the uh, the higher shelf because they were down below for just five more minutes. And then, yeah, that's breakfast. I'm going to quickly uh, fry Travis and I an egg or two also. So we have lots of noise and transition going on. We have been gone at basketball all day. I'm filming like a weekend in the life video and I showed where we left at like 8.30 and it's 
5.56 now, and we just got back home. So we had four games today, lots of fun. I'm getting ready to go have dinner out on the town with one of my girlfriends, but I'm gonna show you what I'm turning dinner into right now. So this is the salsa chicken that has been on low all day while we have been gone. And what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna scoop the chicken out of here, put it in this bowl. I'm gonna mix it with a little bit of sour cream and some shredded cheese. And there are times where viewers suggest that I get a mixer out in order to shred chicken but this chicken when you do it in the slow cooker or in the instant pot it is so tender it's like one fork or this spoon I just can't do it holding my camera but it it shreds no problem no reason for me to get the mixer out and just get more stuff dirty so this is gonna be salsa chicken and tortillas with some corn for dinner tonight at home so for breakfast this morning I have Ezekiel bread and a fried egg and big holy mama cup of coffee also, we got some strawberries that we've been cutting the tops off and serving up. Liam helped me fry a lot of the eggs. And yeah, so that's breakfast this morning. Okay, so this is the salsa chicken that's left from last night. I went ahead and cut up the oranges we had left. We also have a little bit of applesauce from the can left. This is just the bit of the salsa chicken from the fridge. And so as an example, this is Liam's plate. So he's got the salsa chicken in a wrap and some oranges. Happy new week, friends. It is Monday around here and we are packing up to hit the road on an adventure this week. I can't believe it. It's gonna be a whole lot of fun. I'm getting ready right now. I'm gonna put bacon on the bacon pans and uh, we're gonna have some breakfast. Kids are bringing things down to pack on the table. Thank you for watching this and I'll see you tomorrow with another brand new video. Bye-bye.